Mona and through here you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Okay. The dogs were just barking and everything, so I'm just trying to mellow things out here for the second. All right. So I got the things cars. We're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Hopefully y'all can see okay. Let's see what comes out with these. What do we have for today's reading? Just kind of felt like doing it, so. And, you know, if something here resonates with you, maybe there's a message, or maybe there's something that, oh, you know, we could find some solutions to. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I have this here. Okay, let's see what all this is. We got a big clump that came out. Things that are better in Europe. A lot of things, probably, you know, because, you know, the United States here, I'm not sure. Things are going down. I feel like things are going downhill over here. I don't know. I don't know. Things that you shouldn't say by text. Anything that could incriminate you in the future. <laughs> things about Superman that make Batman jealous. Well, Superman can fly and he doesn't need any gadgets. Things you are not a fan of. Drama. Right? Things you are not allowed to do. Lie, cheat, and steal. But people do. People still do all that. Things you would like to make a film about. Hmm. I would like to make a film about cartoon style of my doggies <laughs> but I think it would be a cute little film little movie things you should never store in the cloud I'm not sure because you know what I don't store anything in the cloud anyways I don't think I do do I am I unconsciously storing things in the cloud oh, is that what the google google is I don't know things you don't like to do but have to You know what I don't like doing, you know, out of, uh, is, is packing up when I have to leave from one spot to the next. It's kind of a hassle. Yeah, it's kind of a hassle. Right now we're in Oklahoma. I went ahead and, and got uh, like four more nights at the spot we're at. Uh, it's nice here though. You know what I mean? It's relaxing. Nice walking with the doggies. Nice lake right here. But, you know, things you don't like to do but have to. Yeah, so, you know, the packing up. But because I have less stuff now and, and things are more organized, it's easier, you know. So that's something. Now, you guys know when I go through these, you're all supposed to have your own answers for yourself. So that's how we do interactive. Things you don't need very much of. Sugar. Um, a lot of things. There's a lot of things, you know? Uh, because I live like a, a very minimalist life. So, you know, what about you? What could you, what, what do you not do? what can you live without right you don't need very much of what are things that you don't need very much of right things that are not true a lot of the social media stuff is not true you know tarot on the other hand it's just like somebody reading cards you shouldn't take it as it's your true truth for life like for me here, it's a, you know, it's a story I'm telling you from some cards that I'm reading. You know, it could sound like something similar to other people's stories, but you can't take it as it's the truth. You know what I mean? Um, that's a good one, though. Things that are not true. What do you think? You know, that's a good one. 
All right, so uh, I did grab the uh, White Sage Tarot, and we're going to follow that up with um, the Majesty Bicycle deck right here. I'm just going to see what comes out. Okay, they're all pre-shuffled. What is this? I don't know how I'm doing the reading today. Let me just at least get like five cards out. mentioned that we're in Oklahoma. We're in Oklahoma. Oh, that's five right there. At the bottom of the deck though right now we have the two of pentacles. So this is telling me that you know somebody's doing a lot, right? This is the card of juggling, right? People it, it doesn't mean that someone's juggling relationships. It could it could mean that. But this also means that, you know, someone's busy. Someone's doing a lot. You know what I mean? It could, maybe somebody here has got two jobs. You know, they could be juggling two jobs. That's, you know, that's kind of a common thing nowadays anyways. Five of Swords in the reverse. And Five of Swords for me is like a liar card. Somebody beginning some sort of deception. And, and usually it starts with lies. But right here, somebody here is not wanting to do that. I feel like someone here is wanting to start uh, whatever they're going to start with honesty and truth and just like from scratch. That's good. That's what I'm getting. I've never gotten this card this way. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, the situation here is you know somebody here uh doesn't have okay it doesn't necessarily mean money it doesn't necessarily mean balance or stability but it's one of those it's something there that there's we have some instability here right everybody's situation is different though somebody could be mentally not doing well sad or going through some stuff Somebody could be physically not well, okay? Somebody could be, uh, you know, heartbroken is, or, you know, mentally just not balanced or stable, just not all together. So somebody here, I feel like, is going to be honest with somebody and be like, you know, I don't, I really don't have it all together, you know? And that's good. That's fine. That's good. At least you're being honest, whoever this is, right? Ace of Cups, but they're going to say, but I have to offer you my heart, right? So this is, this sounds very romantic, kind of. Um, look, things you would like to make a film about, I just glanced over at that. It sounds kind of like a romantic film or something, where somebody is being honest you know, because maybe before they used to be fake and, and, and act a certain way and they're quite the opposite. Somebody here is deciding that they want to be honest and, and that they have nothing, but they have their love, they have their heart, you know. Doesn't that kind of sound kind of romantic-y? I think it does. Oh, and the obstacle or advice here is the Hierophant, which is like the marriage card, right? Somebody may want to be like, but I want, I, you are the one. I feel like you are that person. You know, I have nothing, but I have my heart, you know? Ah, oh, that's, this is nice for somebody. You know, this is very nice. <laughs> I feel like it is. Uh, and it's somebody, King of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius, you know, wow, that's nice for somebody, you know, they might not have much to offer, but they, they have truth and love, you know what I mean, that's beautiful in itself, that's, that's worth more than all the money in the world, you know, something like that, you know, um, let's go ahead and clarify here, okay, this sound that you might be hearing, I'm not sure, like a banging sound. People are, you know, coming into the camping area where I'm at and they have these tools that they have to use for their trailers or for whatever they're doing out there, you know. 
in case you guys are <clears throat> all right let's just let's just keep it moving this is kind of nice you know, and, 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 and with this, I just look, looked over at this two of pentacles right here. Somebody, you know, it could be 50-50, right? Either someone's real uh, juggling a lot or they're, they've decided not to juggle anymore. Now, if it comes to this, if somebody here in the past used to be somebody who used to have a lot of ladies or used to be juggling or doing whatever, you know, uh, I feel like that person might be letting these people go, right? I mean, I would think that people, when they, you know, at certain ages, you got that wild and crazy time, you know, where, where you're just carefree and wild and going to parties and doing all kinds of shit and, and, and just, you know, going all buck wild, whatever, men and women both. I'm not just, I'm not saying just one uh, gender. But, you know, somebody here may have had that kind of life going on. And now, they don't really got it like that no more. Maybe they, you know, maybe they spent whatever they had. You know what I mean? And, and maybe they had their heart hurt, hurt, you know, several times. Because I see a lot of hearts here that are in that coffee cup. But I, I feel like somebody is 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 thinking about, you know getting rid of the the old black book now you know that's what i'm how i have it in my head like they have a black book you know for dates i get nervous a little bit when i hear some sounds like that because i don't i'm hoping nobody out there is getting hurt you know sounds rough these sounds you know so anyways i feel like somebody is getting rid of the black book and, and ready to call it quits when it comes to the dating scene so all right, let's go with this this five of swords right here. Tell me about this five of swords that's in the reverse. Somebody wants to be honest and straight uh, when it comes to this new something that's going on here. What else we got? Oh. Okay, so we have one. Six of Swords and the reverse. Now, this is about not being able to leave a toxic situation. So, maybe perhaps somebody right now, they might say, they might say, they're not going to lie. Why haven't you or why isn't? Because somebody is in a toxic situation, but they are confessing their love, though. Okay, they're confessing their love, but possibly where they're at, there is no love, right? They want love, but they're at a toxic place where there is no love. I just see things you don't need very much of. So somebody may not have gotten very much love where they were, they're being honest. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. But maybe there was a lot of financial security. You know what I mean? Like they were sitting pretty. They were comfy. But there was no love. Right? So somebody could have uh, things that are not true. So somebody could have, you know said to somebody oh i love you so much but they don't really love them and then they get married and now they have money you know what i'm saying it's something it's something shady like that i feel like but they're expressing their love they're being honest and expressing their love and i think what it is is they didn't expect whatever this they thought because the money was there that everything was going to be wonderful but like money doesn't buy happiness you know what i mean you know things you don't need very much of like you don't need a lot of money to be happy but people want it you know because of greed you know but what can you do you know all right What do we have for this Ace of Pentacles right here? Okay. 
So someone's going to come and be honest about not being very stable. And we do have the Four of Cups here, and this is about they're going to make an offer. Somebody's going to make an offer, even though they're being honest about not being sta very stable, right? Not having a lot. And then we have the Four of Pentacles, but they can't let go, right? So somebody here can't let go of something. It could have to do with that toxicity right there that we saw earlier, that somebody can't let go of something that's toxic. Now, it could be an activity. It could even be family. Some people got those toxic family members, you know what I mean? But they're pretty bored where they're at. And, you know, we got the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody who is divorced. Either they're divorced or this could be somebody that they married or so that someone married who's got some dough. Um, now, it could be that she's stable and everything is good, but because it's at the bottom of the deck, it could also mean that this is the one who's not very stable. Somebody's dealing with someone who's not stable, who's just uh, does not have it all together it could that could be an option here too but i kind of feel like it's the other way around so but let's go ahead and grab this these up and see what this ace of cups is about Ace of Cups, why is that there? Ace of Cups in the upright. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. So we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. They only have love for one person. Because they're not giving their love to anybody else anymore. Maybe before they were. You know what I mean? But as this card comes out, Six of Pentacles in reverse, they're not doing that. They are not giving their time, their money, their energy, whatever, to anybody. They have their heart set on one person. Five of Swords, okay, and, this, and it's in the upright. So this somebody could be lying about something here. Let me get another card. Somebody could be lying about being in and out and all that stuff. So, you know what? Somebody here could actually be like, I love you. But they might have a problem when it comes to being, like, loyal. Like, you know? It's kind of like, yeah, I cheated, but I love you. You know what I mean? I had somebody tell me that shit one time before. Yeah, that's a big red flag right there. You know what I'm saying? They didn't say it in those words, but it was that's basically kind of like what it, they were saying. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know, you guys. <sighs> Look what's at the bottom of the deck. The Two of Cups. This is kind of them saying, I want to share the two cups with you. But, you know, if that's the case, but you still want to go out and fooling around, it's a no. You know what I mean? And that's not just for me. That's like for every woman out there. They don't want that unless you're like a polygamy type of person or you both are cheaters or you're both doing bad or what. You know what I'm saying? But the normal woman who's got their head on halfway straight right they don't want their they don't share you know they don't want to share just like the man doesn't want to share right all right so we're looking at the hierophant now and this could this is a higher level of commitment right 
right? This is about doing something more, doing something extra, but for the better, you know what I mean? Tell me about the Hierophant, please. And usually they say the Hierophant is a partner of the uh, High Priestess. And in some decks, the Two of Pentacles doubles as the High Priestess. So they're both appearing here. We have a couple. It could be a couple. It could be a couple who is, uh, you know, very intelligent, very spiritual or something like that. There's a spiritual couple here. And, and they're smart. You know what I mean? They're not some kind of goofball. No, these are people who have some sort of intelligence to them. You know what I mean? These are some smart, smarty pants. Right? The Hierophant. We're looking at the Hierophant here. I don't know if you guys hear the police are playing. Don't stand so close to me. Somebody might make another person uh, nervous. The Hierophant. We have the Five of Swords again, but now it's in the reverse. So this is something in regards to honesty, right? What's this? And then we have the Knight of Wands again, but that's also in the reverse. And this is about not being in and out, right? So somebody here is pretty serious about this Hierophant energy. Higher level of commitment, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be honest. They're not going to be in and out. So we could be talking about a couple people here. Look, Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Talking about some singles, right? That's good. If you're single, we shouldn't be talking about couples. We should be talking about singles, right? I need one more card. I still need one more card I want to see for this Hierophant. Eight of Pentacles, okay, they've been working on themselves. See, somebody here's been working on themselves. They're not going to be in and out. Somebody is looking for brand new. Somebody here is looking to sell, settle down. They're done, uh, you know, fooling around with people. They're done, you know, somebody's ready to find the one at the bottom of the deck. Look, six of Pentacles, right? Could be 50-50. Some people out there might continue to give to others, but then we have others out there that are like, no, I'm, I'm not going to give. I don't want to give to no one else. You know? That's nice. I mean, I think it is. It's nice to find somebody who, who says they want to be loyal. They don't want to be with no one else. You know? But they got to kind of show it. You know what I mean? It's too hard to know if they're saying you, you, they got, I, you know, let me see it to believe it, right? King of Wands. King of Wands. What is that King of Wands? Okay, we have the Five of Wands here. This is also the Devil card. This is about addictions, codependencies, right? King of Wands. Could also be somebody in their head. Could also be somebody arguing with others. What's this? There's some truth. Okay, so somebody could be arguing. I feel like somebody uh, could get a message about some sort of message of something or somebody coming clean about something. And um, there's an argument that's going to happen or a fight that's going to not break out, you know, like a... Um, I'm not talking about like fist fighting or anything. I'm talking about like a verbal maybe match. Maybe, you know, people being angry with each other, yelling at each other. And I feel like it's because somebody is, is wanting to be honest about something. Somebody's going to come clean about something. They're going to say, give that message and there's going to be an argument. Hold on. Let me get one more card. There's going to be an argument. Alright, someone's going to be like, what? Like, or I don't know. Look, King of Pentacles. He actually, he actually came out. So this is somebody, Cap, uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, because I have that in their chart. It doesn't, doesn't have to, but this person, he's very generous and very, you know. It could also be somebody here 
could be expressing his passions and what he wants to do to, uh, with somebody and that person doesn't like what he's saying but he's gonna do it anyways he's looking at somebody from the past this king of wands is looking at somebody from I the king of wands also Aries Leo Sagittarius Taurus Virgo Capricorn somewhere in their chart but uh, I feel like this there this is what this person's gonna uh, be expressing to someone it's either that or this person has been thinking a lot about something and they're they're putting themselves in some sort of mental conflict because they're trying to manifest things to work out in their the way they want but for some reason there's difficulties or something eight of cups this is also the moon card secrets secrets and illusions eight of cups the moon right or walking away or it can be in the reverse it could be coming back things are clear now no more secrets and illusions things are have come out into the light can be one of those two so is this kind of a nice it was like a nice normal type of reading you know um if it resonated you know don't forget to subscribe like comment and share uh, also you, you guys know now I just randomly put these out but I have a whole bunch of videos on my page all you gotta do is just do like the lottery and just pick one just you know usually they will resonate a little bit in some way anyhow um, that's for like if you can't wait like you know what I mean but they're all entertaining I'm sure you know uh, also you guys keep it true love energy happy friendly loving types we have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful I'm Mona this is kaleidoscope dreams tarot and I'll talk to you next time bye